aqua gang 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 in this thing 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 what it do you guys you know what it is it's your girl Empress 777 here today with a general message what's up what's up y'all i hope you guys are doing super fantastic i most certainly am holy angels and spirit guys give us exactly what we need to know put it down for us so we can pick it up for my Aquarius soul family, sun rising and Venus signs. These messages are still general, you guys, okay? These are general messages. Take what resonates with you, use your intuition to do so, and leave the rest for whoever it might be here for, okay? Cross watchers, you are also welcome. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, just place yourself where you belong in the storyline. Okay. Now, please click the like button, guys, okay? You don't have to say that in the beginning and the ending. It's free. It makes not. It, it makes absolutely no sense not to, you know what I'm saying? I can't force you, but I'm just saying. You might want to do that. It helps people find us, especially if you find this channel to be valuable. It helps us grow, okay? Also, click the subscribe button and make it official. If you want to, if you want to become a part of our team, click that notification bell as well so you can be notified when I upload on the channel. Just a slight pre-shuffle. Something real slight. I feel like somebody is overthinking, okay? I don't know if this is you or your person. I feel like there's a back and forth, a back and forth, a back and forth in your mind. Um, I do see some form of either a disengagement or a breakup because we have courtship in the reverse, okay? Um, during the premeditation, I am hearing that this is a liar, okay? We're dealing with somebody who lies. They lie about everything. They lie about small shit. They lie about big shit. They lie about tall shit. They lie about short shit. They lie. They just a lie. They are a liar, right? I feel like this person is trying to talk themselves out of coming back towards you even though they want to, if this has in fact been a breakup. For others of you, this could be you bouncing back and forth in your head whether or not it's worth giving this person another shot. Um, I feel like this courtship in the reverse card could also signify somebody who did not put in the effort because we have occupation here. Occupation along with courtship, right? Those two together suggest that this is somebody who didn't want to like do it the right way. Okay. They deem themselves to be too good to take you out too good to be the the one to initiate conversation too good to um actually do what you would ask them to do they were actually not concerned about you know what you would do if they did not show up they, they had no concern whatsoever this is also somebody who believes their lies this is why we have official person so so they definitely feel as though they are a prize to be won Right. This is somebody who feels like their shit don't stink. Their behavior is acceptable. Um, I'm also viewing this message of concern card as this person may be trying to contact you. Um, you either have them blocked or you're not answering. Are they concerned about it? No. Are they sorry that they lied? No. There is like absolutely no remorse here. This person deems themselves to be um, official, right? Like this is like propping yourself up on a pedestal. This is like somebody who compliments themselves, right? And somebody who expects people to compliment them too. Somebody who, who deems themselves to be very, very valuable um, even though they don't actually share that value, right? Even though that value may not actually exist right this might just be a facade this might be something that you have come to find out okay um that could be something that you may have been concerned about initially uh this person lying they could have even been lying about what they do for a living that's what i'm hearing right with occupation here for some of you they, they it's a major lie right um, so I don't know if this is something that you've already found out or if this is something that you just don't give a fuck about anymore, right? You may have been skeptical. You may have had like an inkling, a gut feeling that something was off or something was going on or that this person wasn't telling the truth, but you're no longer working hard to figure them out. For some of you, you may have never really known this person, right? You feel like you never really knew them. Maybe the two of you jumped into this kind of fast. I mean, you can be the one to 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 make that assessment, right? Like who's to say what's fast or not? That's going to be subjective from person to person. I do feel like whoever this person is does want to come back around, of course, right? Um, they they might even feel like things are were never done anyway, right? This courtship in the reverse could be your energy, like you thinking in your mind that you're done, but in their mind, because this is their energy, right? In their mind, that is not the case. That's not the truth. Like if they want it to come back around, you would accept them with open arms. Now that of course doesn't have to be the truth, but that's exactly what they're thinking. 
I don't know what's taking them so long. See, now we have wealthy man here, right? Oh, and privileged lady. Gender doesn't matter, right? Gender doesn't matter. This is somebody who does feel privileged. This, this is somebody who feels very entitled. And it's here's the wild part, right? Like the gag is the entitlement stems from a lie, right? Like you're not rich, bitch. Like you are not, you're not that girl. You're not that guy. Like you are not as, as high and mighty, right? As you, as you a deem, as you, um, <laughs> as you announce to everyone else that you are with this official person card. I just keep hearing that, that this is somebody who like bigs themselves up. They compliment themselves. They may even put other people down um, in order to make themselves seem bigger than what they actually are. They do expect people to believe um, in this facade. OK, for some of you, this person may have lied about having a lot of money or having some kind of um, huge investment. Right. Um, or they may have said what they were working on and but they made it sound like whatever they were working on was just on the brink of being you know exploding like blowing up like you know they were going to be very wealthy because of this thing that they're doing and, and 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 right very important I'm a very important person and this is what I do and everybody loves me you know everybody wants to all the girls want to be with me all the guys want to be with me because of what I have going on etc etc meanwhile it's all a lie <sighs> what yeah it's all a lie so this is really mind-boggling for me right it might have been mind-boggling for you as well until you decided to just release them to the community yeah I'm definitely hearing that this is somebody who is either saying like their business is doing uh, better than what it is this is somebody who um, they, instead of them telling you that they are a customer service rep they're like I'm in management right like I I run a team um something to that effect right it could be a number of things the point is it's still a lie right there's a little bit of truth sprinkled in their lies which makes people overthink or make people like ponder on it like that doesn't seem right but am I wrong for like second guessing you or questioning you even though my intuition is telling me you're a fucking liar Hmm. This person works very hard to get people to believe th their lies. OK, and they actually despise people who also feel entitled to things. So courtship, what is courtship about? Courtship is about putting in effort. Courtship is about holding up your end of the bargain. Courtship is about taking, you know, it's about um, getting to know a person. Right. It's also about like dating the first stages of dating. Um, it's about you scratch my back i scratch yours right Re reciprocity um equal give and take Th you compliment me and at other times i will compliment you not necessarily tit for tat just kind of like organically um but that's in the reverse so this is somebody who like they seek out relationships where they are like top dog they're the official person right they want to be the highest that's actually what they expect Oh my gosh. So if you in any way, right, these are their thoughts, not mine. If you in any way showed them that you require reciprocity, that you require equal give and take, or that you also have expectations of your own, that you also with you also want to 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 be a, a part of the connection you want to you want to have some of the attention sometimes you want to you want to be able to celebrate your wins at times right um this person doesn't want to allow that in connections do you know why you're like girl i don't really give a fuck girl ma'am sir bro says do you know why it is because they're they're living a lie. So it, it literally makes them crumble right internally to hear other people speak about their wins, speak about their wealth, speak about the thing, the great things that are happening to them, get compliments from other people because you may get complimented from other people. They don't want to see you get compliments. They don't want to see you win. They don't want to see, you know, they don't want to hear about it. Right. Like they, they that's to them. That's not how their love connections go um, because it triggers them. Right. It triggers them into realizing that 
they are actually a liar. They're dealing with somebody who's actually truthfully moving and shaking, right? Not just talk. You've got the walk going on as well. This person may actually be jealous um, in reference to what you do for a living. It's only a small portion of you. Um, they act like it doesn't bother them, but it does. This is a very jealous spirit, you guys, whoever this person is. Um, and this is why they have to big themselves up all the time because of the jealousy, because of the envy, because of that that black hole internally. Right. Um, the lies are giving them the ability to suppress what they really feel about themselves. It's actually quite sad when you think about it. Um, so we have last quarter moon in Pisces, talk less, feel more, right? Exactly. And what they want you to feel is how, how fucking great they are, of course, right? Like, hello, me living, breathing in your air, in your energy, you being next to me, you, you, you having the opportunity to date me, you having the opportunity to know me, man. Hello? Where is my parade? <laughs> okay. Where are my flowers? Hello? Can we, can we please queue up? some some blimpies okay i need i need some blimps in the air i need me a, a billboard out there i need i need the i need i need i need a parade ho okay hot air balloon me right now i'm so high they still feel this way okay so for a great majority of you I don't get that you realized this about this person. You do realize their entitlement. Yes, of course you do. You're very smart. Um, I don't know if you've caught on to the lie. Okay, so if you are resonating with this message, please let me know down below in the comments. Did you catch up with this person's lie? And if you're willing to share, what the fuck was it? What was the lie? They worked so hard to not get found out. It could be another person for some of you. It could be a whole other family for some of you. It could be that they were married. It could be that they have kids that you didn't know about. It could be it could be huge, something huge. It feels like a big lie. And they need you to be quiet, right? They need to be quiet and they need you to be quiet. They just want it to be all the feels, right? They just kind of want to keep things surface level, keep things shallow, keep complimenting me, keep bigging me up. Everything else, leave it, leave it over there. It's too close to figuring them out. So we have last quarter moon in Virgo. Attend to the details. That's you. You may have been trying to get down to the nitty gritty, asking the right questions. My guy, my girl, you really were. It's like, no, 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 no. Today, we're not talking about you. Today, I want to talk with you and I have some questions for you. You may have received a lot of pushback. Okay. In fact, they may have even tried to, um, they may have even started to, um, be actually mean, right? Like say some very hurtful things, um, things that have absolutely nothing to do with what you were asking them, but you may have realized their emotions that they were getting very deep emotionally, right? Triggered, um, very much triggered. And it was coming across as like, whoa, you, why are you attacking me? I'm just asking you a question. Well, you, your line of questioning was leading to this big explosion and exposure and expose cool your emotions right this is their thoughts in their mind talking themselves down off this ledge right it's like i gotta keep it cool i gotta keep it cool and then we we have first quarter moon and leo be humble and this is the kind of people that they like to deal with i don't necessarily like the word humble because what the fuck like come on you're dealing with somebody who wants to be praised all the time they want you to kiss their ass right they are the bee's knees they are the bread to your jelly and your peanut butter bitch okay the cats meow. yet they want whoever they're dealing with to be humble humble pie i'm actually getting kind of confused <laughs> by this message not confused about their intentions it's just like i don't understand where they're taking me at this juncture i really do not be humble you may have really you may have humbled this person okay um, if you just disappeared or disconnected or decided that you were going to um, engage with them a little bit less, OK, avoid th their phone calls, avoid certain conversations. Um, if you are still conversing with this person, courtship is in the reverse. So you may be treating them differently, right? No longer as a love interest or no longer as a close friend. They can feel that the intimacy has evaporated. 
right? That you view them differently, even if you haven't called them out on it. They may really be trying to figure out where your brain is, like where your mind is. Call the motherfucking cops, right? It's a, it's a fraudster. This person might be into fraud, y'all. I ain't even gonna hold you. They're lying. And you may have even been wondering where they get all this money from. Like, where did you get your ends, your coins? What do you do for a living? It's giving Tommy off of <laughs> Martin, right? Like, what do you do for work? Like, what do you do? How are you able to at um, attain this lifestyle of luxury? Now, that's not for everybody. This could just have to do with the fakeness, right? This person is a fraud. Wow. They may even be lying like about their childhood or where they're from or it it's like a huge lie that would affect you if you were to stay involved in this. I'm not pressed. That's a fucking lie. Even though they are trying to cool their emotions, they are. This person is possibly extremely angry at how you got out of Dodge or how you're treating them now. Like you're on to them. Yeah, they're viewing you as the cop. Like the investigator, right? Didn't I say that? A line of questioning. For some of you, you may need to start questioning this person more. Don't just go with the flow. If you're still engaging with them. If you must know. If you must know, right? As Aquarians, sometimes we need to know all the details. We need to we need to cross all our T's, dot our, all our I's, get all of the information so that we can make an informed decision. Well, you need to start asking the correct questions because there is something here lying under the surface they want you to not be worried about whatever this is that they're lying about but it could affect you okay if you're in close proximity to this person or if you get involved with them on a certain level but they don't want you to know that i picked wrong mm -hmm. so i feel as though this person is kind of wondering if that is your thoughts right because you changed you're either not accepting their phone calls or you're not accepting their phone calls as much. You're either not talking to them or you're not talking to them as much. For some of you, you may have pulled back intimately as well with this lover's card. So you're not giving them none, right? Like they're just wondering why the shift, why the change? Yeah, why the shift, why the change? Talk less, feel more. So you're like quiet, right? You haven't even called this person out for some of you. Um, even if you have figured this out, you're not bringing it to their table. You're actually not pressed about it, right? Because in your mind, it's just like, mm, okay, well, you know, I'm just going to take this L and be on my way. The details might not be of importance to you. So that's going to be different for all of you. Let me see here. Give me additionally what else we need to know. What a very odd reading. It's almost like this person has like a double life, you guys. Seriously. Okay. Can I call you? <laughs> Two question marks. So they do want to reach out. They want to speak to you. Um, you have confused them. Okay. They do deem your energy, your behavior to be quite harsh. Okay. Um, they don't know what you know, and they might be panicking about what they think you might know, right? There might be an apology, and it's like, what are you apologizing for? And they're like, I don't know, because of course they don't want to tell on themselves, but they, they just kind of want to get a feel for where you are. It's like, okay, damn, I'm sorry. And you're like, but what are you, what are you apologizing for? You haven't told them what they've done wrong, or you haven't told them what, what, why you've shifted, why you've changed, yet the guilt is eating them away. This is too much for me. I want to go take a nap. We have the nine of pentacles. I wasn't even pulling this deck, but it's on the bottom of one of my other decks. And they told me to take it. So we have nine of pentacles. Okay. Pre-empress, pre-emperor energy. This person may have like really talked themselves up to be like this emperor, to be this boss, this empress. You know, I make shit happen. Like I am that guy I'm that girl like in my workplace I do da, 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 da. everybody answers to me I have things under control I'm this way at my uh, in my house this is how I run things like I'm da, 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 da. you know you could just I could just run off a whole bunch of shit and it's all a lie this could be a Capricorn for some of you with the pentacles here as well um now I would be aware of this person, okay? I would be very wary about communicating with this energy, not to frighten. No, don't be scared. There's no there's no reason to be scared. This is not about fear-mongering. This is about being smart. 
This is a jealous, envious person. They have to lie to kick it. They have to lie about who they are to get people, okay? They have to lie about what they have. All of the things, okay? And their life, their whole life is, is, is a lie. Um, it could go from a, a sweet energy, a, oh, you know, let's just work things out. I don't know what's going on with you. I don't know why we're so distant. I don't know why you're so distant. It could go from that to them becoming a savage real quick. Now, what does that mean? That means that this person has some tricks up their sleeve, okay? The devil is nothing to play with. They're also signifying the phrase, the devil is in the details. It says, attend to the details. So there are some things that you are not aware of about this person, you guys, okay? There are some secrets. There are things hidden. Um, even if you feel like you've uncovered some of their lies, there are more. It gets worse. Ah. There are more. I don't even know if this person's family really know what they're up to. We have practice forgiveness mm, mm, mm. that came out crossing. Beware. How can you forgive a liar? A habitual liar. They lie out of survival. So do, do you think that they're going to, to choose not lying? Of course not. They do it out of survival. For some of you, this person's lie they have to protect it so much so because it does it would their whole life would crumble if this truth came out secret secret love it says I kept my love for you a secret is too complicated to explain I feel like this card has duality okay um, this person may start throwing around the L word okay whatever emotions they feel they could uh, tr trigger or evoke a certain type of response from you is the avenue in which they will go right we have let them go and we have not for you but yet we have commitment. When I think about my future, I see you. That's a marriage there, you guys. A marriage built on lies, even a commitment, even a, a, a life partnership, right? If you don't believe in marriage, right? That's, it's going to be different for all of you. But even getting into a relationship, right? It's almost like sleeping with the enemy and building a relationship on lies. I mean, it's, bound to crumble at some point in time that's not very wise right like it's something that you need to be very wary of now I cannot tell you what to do and it is free will it is but uh, the the savagery in you is being called upon and you're needing to to have a very stern line of questioning with this person before any conversations about forgiveness are brought to the table but I feel like they're leading with that you see I feel like they're leading with the conversation of I'm sorry and it's like for what what are you sorry for, right? You just apologizing for nothing? But they can't tell you why they're sorry if you don't already know. They want you to bring it up. They want to know what you know. This is crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Player, I'm choosing to keep an emotional distance and play the field. I feel like that's an illusion. And I feel like you know that. Okay? We have trust your intuition and look what popped out at the bottom. Friendship, right? Friends don't lie to each other, okay? Counterparts, partners don't lie to each other. So I'm not really sure where that friendship token is coming in. It does feel like this person is grasping for straws. I don't know why they are so hell bent on pulling you back in. Um, like why not just move on? If you have shown them that you are pulling away, that you are detaching in any form, why are they so hell bent on you? We have, I miss you so much. I do feel like you touched this person in a certain way. Um, that would be sincere. I do feel like this person definitely really liked you. It's almost given the energy of they didn't think that they would like you as much. So they didn't really give a fuck about all of the lies that they were telling because they didn't have any feelings for you. But then once they start to develop feelings for you, right, they kept those feelings a secret and now they're battling with it because they may have taken this too far, right? Like if I show you who I really am, will you still want to fuck with me? We have waiting. This is special. Mm, mm, mm. I don't have empathy for this person, but I, I will say 
they did not expect things to go this is a savage right now they're saying that this person also has savage energy now you are showing up as a savage currently but this is also something that they have in their blood okay um i feel like this person was expecting to not have feelings for you i just have to say that um it's almost as if it shocked them the intensity of this connection how much they are actually into you how much they actually like you okay this is somebody who loves them and leaves them okay um and so it's very different for them now this might be a very humbling experience this connection they lie to all of the people that they've ever been in relationship with but it's something about you where they know that that's not going to go over well. It's almost as if they know once they tell you or if you find out, which is also why we have this panicking about what you know and why you're acting funny and why you're doing certain things and apologizing for no reason. Once you find out, they do know that there's no waiting. You will be off in the distance. You will rather be single with this nine of pentacles card that you might not you might not want to F with them anymore. That does scare this person. Dare I say that this person does have very strong emotions for you. I will not call it love, but that's what they're calling it. Um, there's also this energy that this person, um, they still hold themselves at, in very high regard, but they also hold you in a very high regard as well um, in reference to their intimate relationships, right? You would be the MVP. Did their behavior suggest that they held you in high regard? No, no. All this fucking lying. This person is getting on my nerves. They are. I want to know if you know. I am ready for this. Mm, mm, mm. I sabotaged us. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. <clears throat> I have never felt like this. I told you. I told you. So the lies were never supposed to catch up to them in this way, right? Like they were never supposed to give a fuck if you found out or not. But they do they do look at that <laughs> eight of pentacles came out crossing is it about this person's career eight of pentacles is about work something about work do they steal are they a fraudster are they you know what i'm saying what is going on scammer are they a scammer you like girl they scammed the fuck out of me it's something about their job or their work or what they do for a living or how they get their money for some of you for others of you, this could just be them working very hard, right? Because we have occupation and now the Eight of Pentacles, they work very hard to keep their secrets from the people that they are dating. But they never date to, to love. They don't date to fall in love. They don't date to get pressed or catch emotions. Like, never, never, never. See, it says, cool your emotions, right? Like, no. They don't even involve those. What are those? Hmm. Let's pull a few tarot before we head over to the extended. Now, in the extended, I will have new love because whether you figure this out or not, I'm with this person. OK, I agree with them. And, and what I agree with is you're not going to wait for them. You're not waiting. You're not you're either not going to wait for them to tell you the truth or you're not going to wait for the truth to show up. So I feel like for a majority of you, like I said, even if you figured out some of their lies, you don't know everything. And the surface level lies that you have found out, if you if that's you, is, is all that it takes for you to decide to just be happily single or go on your way. Right. I can do bad all by myself type of shit. Or I can't trust you. Right. The trust is like broke. Ciao. So I agree with this person that you're you're. It feels like you are walking away come hell or high water. And definitely, if you find out what this is that they are trying to keep from you. How long have you been talking to this person? I want to know, because that's also going to determine how long they were able to keep this lie going. But I feel like the love or the, en the energy that they are saying that they love you, because I don't know if I would call this love. I don't want y'all cursing me out in them comments. I feel like that's something that has just been sprung on them. OK, there's actually been a transformation. Now, does this transformation involve them being truthful now? No, of course not. They still full, keep themselves in very high regard, kind of cocky, kind of arrogant. Right. All about me, me, me. But now they're just adding you to the mix like my guy or my girl. Like I, they just kind of want to add you into that mix. 
page. So we have the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is a signifier of the sudden change that you have made. Whatever way that was, it was sudden for this person. They weren't expecting it. See, this King of Wands card says boss. <laughs> I don't get this person is a boss, guys. I'm just going to say that. I don't. It says entrepreneur in that card as well. They've lied about something, right? Look at that. Ace of Swords comes out crossing. This is somebody has been lying. Lying and the truth ain't in you. Bottom of the deck is the five of wands. So they are battling. There's an internal battle with their ego, with their pride, okay, with their self-esteem, with their self-worth, with the, the emotions that you are also evoking within them. Um, it's really driving them crazy. It is. Um, I do feel like this person is a little bit terrified. Um, they're not going to want to open the lines of communication with telling on themselves. They want to know what you know first. <laughs> Lord of mercy. Okay, I'm going over to the extended, you guys. All right, I want to see. I just I just have to dig into this. Again, like I said, we will have new love over in the extended. But let's clean this up. Like, let's tie this up with a cute little bow. Get some resolve, if any, like as much as possible. Um, let's see, has this person changed at all? We have the death card. And how? If they have, how? Will this ace of swords actually show up in the upright where they're going to come forth? Um... Yeah, I just, once the trust is broken, it's just kind of hard, right? To ever believe them, even if they are telling the truth. It's like the boy or the girl who cry wolf. It's like you almost just cannot, like looking in their face, all you see is a lie. So that's going to be tough, but I will look, right? Let's also see where are they hoping things will end up with the two of you? What are their intentions moving forward versus what their intentions were in the past? Let's look at those two, compare those two. Let's also see what their next steps are going to be so you can so you can fully prepare yourself for that. And then we'll get the best possible outcome, whether you decide to re-engage with this or go in the opposite direction. Um, before we get into new love, I want to know what was your lesson here, okay? Why this person? Why did they show up? What is the reason? What is the reason? Okay, and that'll also give us an idea whether or not you've tapped in and actually learned that lesson or if you're on your way to learning that lesson prior to going on to the next cycle let's see how you can energetically approach next cycle to attract only wins okay in love money and spirituality only winning how do you set yourself up for winning in this next cycle i also want to look i i felt the need to to throw this in and int intuitively um i want to see what subconscious blockages may have you attracting the same person that's for those of you who have noticed a pattern in quality. It could be liars, right? It could be players. It could be ain't shit people. It could be narcissists. It could be F boys, F girls. It could be, okay, it could be a number of things. It's sort of like same same energy, same soul, different face. Um, and how? what do you need to do in order to break that cycle, okay, in order to remove that blockage? And then we're going to get into your new love, okay? So without further ado, baby, baby, please click that like button as well as the subscribe button. I'm going to put the link for the extended reading down below in the description box and I'm going to see y'all over there. Let's go.